Hello Panda Power people, welcome back to a video about the Panda Power API, which we're going to use to create our own network. So we're going to start with an empty network and then we add each element one by one to this network and run a power flow calculation. To get started, we go to a website, pandapower.org, click on getting started and scroll down a little bit to the short introduction here. And there you find the network which we're gonna create. This network has three buses, bus number one, two, and three. And to bus number one, there is an external grid being connected, which is from a power flow perspective, the slack bus. From our perspective, it's the connection to the upper voltage level, so to the medium voltage level. The, this bus is a 20 kV bus, this one is a 400 volt bus, so we need a transformer connecting those two buses and between the two 400 volt buses there's a line connecting those, in this case it's a cable and in bus number three here we have a load being connected with um, a real power of 100 kilowatts and a reactive power of 15 kW in that case. To create an empty network we just call Panda Power or import Panda Power and then call create empty network uh, and create empty network so now you have an empty data frame you can give it a name but you don't have to so this is your empty grid structure you can print that and then you see that here you got an empty panda power network okay so for this network we're gonna add each element one by one so first we're gonna create the buses and this is done by calling pp.create bus for this network and for a bus you have to specify the voltage in kilowatts for example here we have a 20 kilovolt bus and we can give it a name but we don't have to give it a name that's optional but uh, the voltage here is mandatory to specify okay so we do that three times bus number one two and three and bus number uh, two and three are 400 volt buses as shown in the picture so we got the buses now and now we want to connect to bus number one an external grid which is the slack bus and the external grid is created by calling create x grid at bus number one so this is the variable or the bus number being returned here okay mm, the default value for the voltage magnitude in per unit is one for the function here create external grid but we want to have a magnitude of 1.02 which means if we want to calculate that not in per unit but in absolute values we would have to multiply the value of this bus here so the 20 uh, by 0 1.02 so now we have an external grid being connected to the, the network and this is shown here and you can print the detailed information about that as well so we have now here for example the voltage magnitude being set we can set all the other variables as well for example the name external grid which is optional and then if you print that again you're gonna see that now the name is shown here okay so we have that and now we want to create the transformer uh, which is being created by calling create transformer between bus number one and bus number two and for a transformer you have to specify a standard type either this you specify the standard type or you use the function create transformer from parameters where you can specify all the parameters yourself but since it is easier we use a standard type and all the standard types which are available in this grid can be shown by calling the function pp uh, available standard types and print that and then you see that here we have predefined standard types with some variable set and this is th these ones you can just use so you just copy the string of the desired transformer in this case this one and then you pr um, paste that here and now you have a transformer um, based on this standard type between bus number one and bus number two so um, the same or nearly the same can be done for the lines so we can get the available standard types for the lines as well 
There you don't even have to specify transformer because line is per default the value. And now we have here some overhead lines being defined and also some uh, cables being defined, which you can choose from. As shown in the picture, we want to have this one here, for example. So we create it by calling create line for this net between bus number two and bus number three uh, with the standard type uh, called N a w and so on and the name of this line is line but you don't have to specify the name so now i forgot something uh you have to specify the length as well for the line so this is mandatory as well this one is 100 meters long so you specify 0 0.1 kilometers okay now we have a line and what we are missing now is just the load which is being created by uh create uh create load for this net at bus number three in that case and for a load you have to specify at least the real power in megawatts so this load has 100 kilowatts a uh, kilo, uh, kilowatts which would be um, 0 0.1 megawatts and you can specify but you don't have to because it's per default it would be zero but here we want to have a reactive power of 0 0.05 mvar in format times, this was in kilowatt and kilo uh, km bar, uh, k var. Um, since Panda Power 2, this is in megawatts. Uh, the same goes for static generators, for example. So, if you would like to create a static generator, you would specify that as well in megawatts and now also in positive with a positive sign. In format times, this was negative here, but now it's positive since Panda Power 2. Remember that. Okay, so now we have our grid. We could print that and then we see that we have now all the elements here in that grid, but um, we don't have any results yet. Uh, yet, And the results are being calculated by calling pp.runpp for this grid. And if we print that, then we will get not just the input tables, but also the output tables of all the results and if you want, you can get the detailed results for each of those tables. And then you see, for example, the voltages at the buses here as a result. Oh my gosh, was that simple to create a Panda Power Grid with the Panda Power API, wasn't it? Yeah, so now we know how to use the API to create grids. You can use it, of course, to create really complex grids, but you can also use some predefined networks which are included in Panda Power, as I've shown in the last video. I, I hope you have enjoyed that and I wish you a nice day.